Now, it turns out there happens to be a guy out there who wrote an entire book on the connection between physics and music. An entire book. His name is Stefan Alexander, and he's standing by right now, live on video call. You guys, you have him? Oh, there I'm you go. Here. Hey, Stefan, hello. Hey, Neil, what's up? Hey, well, welcome to Star Talk. Hey, good to be here. Yeah, Thanks for so, having me. So, so you wrote a book, uh, The Jazz of Physics, Stefan Alexander, The Secret Link Between Music and the Structure of the Universe. That's a kind of, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a b title right there. But what I want to know is, is there something about physics that you can tell me so that henceforth I will always think of jazz when I encounter it? I can give you one cool example, and it has to do with um, improvisation. Um, so what an improviser has to do is spontaneously create something cool while the music is going on, while the chords are changing. And different jazz musicians have different strategies for doing that. And one thing I discovered um, is the idea of targeting notes. So for example, um, if I start off on a G, and at some bars later, I end up with a D, that's sort of the beginning point and the end point. And in between um, targeting those two notes, meaning the end point note being the G, I can imagine playing many different paths, many different notes. And that's a very you know, good analogy to Feynman's conception of um, quantum mechanics. Do, do you have the sax in arm's reach? Maybe you can play sort of a particle uh, improvisation for us just briefly. Um, sure, I can try something. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. All right, we're ready for you. Go. What? I got it. I... Guys, I just got off the plane, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs>